Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make a hot air balloon. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step, of course, is to hit create new design. We are also going to use some amazing code block strings. If you haven't already made those, there will be a card up above so you can get that completed. Now, once again, when you start, we're going to name it balloon. I'm going to put B-A-L-O-O-N and I'm going to put V4 because I've made this more than once or twice. Friends, with our project named, it's time to start building. We're going to build with a paraboloid. When you bring it out, it is not facing the way we want, so we're going to rotate it. I always show you to go to the corner of the view cube. Then you can easily rotate inside the blue circle to the 180 mark. If you ever miss, you can just type 180 and get there as well. We're going to change three measurements. First, we're going to make it 30 high. Then we're going to make it 30 in this direction. And then we're only going to make it 10 in this direction. That is going to be our balloon shape. We need to put a piece on top of it. So we're going to use work plane. Shortcut is W. And we're going to bring out a half sphere. We need to change its measurements to 10 and 30 and press enter. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, select them both, and I'm going to do a line. I'm going to make the white one the boss. There's that middle and that middle. If we look at it with the view cube, you can see that is pretty darn fantastic. I do think I want to make it a little taller though. So I'm going to select just this one. And instead of 10, I'm going to do 15 and press enter. Let's grab all those pieces and group them. And my friends, that is one section of our cool balloon. Now here's the magic trick. If you do control D, and you rotate about 15 or 20 degrees. You can take your pick on what you do and then let go and just do control D again and again without clicking. It memorizes the move and you get a magnificent balloon that quickly. Of course, you need to color it. I'm gonna turn on some music. You can watch how this coloring happens. You just click on each section and bam, it'll be beautiful in just moments. Alrighty friends, so there you have a beautiful balloon. Let's select it and raise it up. I'm gonna use control up arrow to get it up in the air. And then we need to find the basket that everybody's gonna sit in. We're gonna do that by switching to shape generators and we're gonna choose all. Now remember, I have a Google Jamboard with all the shapes in it. We're looking for a poly cup. If you look up above, there will be a video that shows you how to get that sweet Jamboard. If you've never seen it before, it looks like this and you can have your very own copy with just a few simple steps. As I said a moment ago, we are looking for the poly cup. It is this blue one. Let me show you how to find it. So now that we're on all shapes, we're gonna hit more again and again and again. I will warn you, it takes a while for them to load. That's why I created the little Google Jamboard so that you could see them all. So you had an idea of where you were heading and what you were looking for. Remember we wanted the poly cup. If you think you're gonna use something again and again, like the poly cup is handy, you can make it a favorite. And from then on, it'll be in your favorites. Real quickly, let me show you this. There are your favorites. And those are the ones that I have added. You can have many, many, they will show up just like that. So friends, we need to take this poly cup and make it smaller so it can be our basket. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it. And I think that looks pretty darn nifty for now. I need to grab the strings. Remember, we made those in code blocks. If you miss this, there will be a card up above so you can build your awesome strings and bring them in. I'm gonna grab my balloon real quick and hide it so it's not in the way. And then I can grab the cup and the strings and I'm going to align them. Let's make the cup the boss and go center and center. I'm gonna do control up so these raise up. And notice they do not fit my cup. I can take either object and I can hold down alt shift and I can stretch them till they're dandy. So I think that looks pretty good. They are connected just on the inside edge. If you want to be a little more perfect, you can. Now when we do show all, we can bring back our balloon. And if we grab just the top of the balloon, we can nudge it into place. I'm going to raise it up a little higher and now we're ready to align it. Now we need to group this first. So hit group and it'll probably change to all one color. If it does, after a moment, because this is pretty complex, 
all you do is click on the colors and change it to multicolor to get your beautiful balloon back. So since this is all grouped, we can do a line. Once again, I'm gonna make the basket the master. So there's my click and do center and center. And then this, I can just hold down shift and I can stretch till the balloon touches the strings. Friends, there you have it, a fantastic hot air balloon in just a few minutes. Now, if you're in my classroom, I want you to make this into an awesome scene. Friends, I need you to do it like this. Make sure you go to Design Starters. Make sure you go to Creatures and Characters. Find all kinds of cool things that you can add to make this an incredible hot air balloon project. Friends, when you're done, of course, I need a screenshot. If you're out in the world and you wanna share your work with me, don't forget you can simply click on collaborate, generate a new link, copy that link, and then you can ship it to me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for your friends, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, and at the very bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can add your share link, fill in your info, and reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this design, and if you did, please hit that like button. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.